What's going on YouTube? It has been requested over and over again that I talk about the books that I've read, such as books back here and audiobooks. So I decided to make this video about best self-help audiobooks in 2020. And this is just, this obviously opinionated, right? But I just wanna share this with you because I've learned a lot and I think I really do believe that I'm the person I am today because of the books that I've read, the people I've been around and just the experiences that I've had in life and my ability to reflect on them. So I just wanna share my insight with you guys on what I've read and what I take away from it without spoiling the books. And then I'm gonna leave links down in the description so you guys can read the books as well if you really want to. And it's best that you get the audio book version of these books I'm about to list. I usually like to read a book like just in my hand, but these books are better in their audio versions and I have both for them. So I know that the audio version is so much better. So I'm gonna talk about the audio book version and why it's better in this video and go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and we're gonna get started right now. So the first book I'm gonna to listen to this video is Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. This is an absolutely phenomenal book. This is legit one of the best books I've ever read in my entire life. It's about Napoleon Hill, of course, and he talks about success and you know his failures in life. But then like 90% of the book is about a entire interview with him and the devil. And it's just him and the devil going back and forth arguing. It's the devil trying to, you know, persuade him or to kind of make him drift a little bit. It's a common and popular topic within that book. And the, basically the devil tries to deceive him the entire book. Now, obviously this is not like a real life interview, but it's like something that's taking place in Napoleon Hill's mind. And he asked the devil stuff like, like, where do you live? How do you influence people? Why are so many people under your spell? That type of stuff. And like the devil says stuff that's so applicable to taste. Like, so the, the, the things that are discussed in this book are problems that are still happening today. Like, like overindulgence of eating and, and like drugs and drinking and smoking and how they can affect your ability to think, how they can really keep you from your purpose in life. And that's what the devil does. And it's just, it's so awesome. You got to read it. Like I could talk about this book all day, but until you read it, you're not going to understand what I'm really talking about. <clears throat> this isn't like a, this isn't like a religious book. This is like just legit, like the world's problems that we have today and like what forces are causing these problems to happen. And the book, of course, it tells you most of the problems that we have in our lives are of our own making because of our lack of being able to think for ourselves. That's really what the basis of this book is. And just to, to go off on a small tangent, I'm going to tell you about something that I really enjoyed from this book. It's actually the fears that the devil feeds on. And when he sees that you have that fear in you, he just makes you a target, basically. So I'm going to go over them real quick. Fear of poverty, fear of criticism, fear of ill health, fear of loss of love, fear of old age, fear of death. These things are applicable to today. How many people do you know that are not going for their dreams because they're fearful that they'll go bankrupt and be in poverty, that they're fearful that they're too old to do what they're doing? You know what I'm saying? They're fearful that the lack of sleep they get due to going for their dreams is going to cause ill health. That they're going to be criticized, talked about, that their wives or husband will leave them because they're doing something that's crazy. And that's just one example of how these seven fears intertwine to really just attack people. And that is a product of our own making. That is something that we tell ourselves and that's what deters us from doing things. That's what discourages us from doing what our purpose is in life. And that's just a few examples of why this book is amazing. So check the book out, it is linked in the description. And it's literally the, the reason that the audio book is better than the physical book is because you can hear different voices. And so like the devil is going to have a much deeper and more manipulative and maniacal voice. And then the narrator is going to have like an honest, you know, straight to the point. I want answers type of voice. And it's like he's interviewing the devil and it's almost like he's interrogating him in a in a courtroom. And it's just it's so awesome. Like it's, it's so awesome. And because there's two different voices and there's emotion behind what is being said, it's like it's like you're watching a movie in your mind. That's why it's better than the book. But anyways, check that book out.
The next book is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. I love that book. And, you know, I look up to this guy a lot because he's not only because he's won all these things like he broke the world record of pull-ups and stuff like that but you know he was a navy seal he he ran all these races he's done literally what a lot of people think to be the impossible but on top of that he's had a rough life and he did not use that as an excuse and i'm a big no excuses type of guy so i can respect anybody who is like that but when you read that book or better yet when you listen to the audio book it's like after after the narrator goes over a passage, David Goggins himself the, the, himself describes that experience, what it was like, and he even touches on stuff that wasn't even written in the book. That's what makes it so awesome. Like, so if you read the regular book in your hand and stuff, or just like on your phone or whatever the case is, you're not going to get that experience of having David Goggins tell you himself like what his experience was like. And he kind of goes back and forth with the narrator. And it's like it's like a podcast mixed with a book. That's why it's better than the actual physical book. But anyways, the book itself is fantastic. Like he talks about his rough upbringing. The challenges he had to go through as a child, the abuse that he went through as a child, he watched his mother get beaten, uh, he had to go through racism as a child, like, he had to go through all these things and it didn't do anything but make his skin thicker and tougher. By the way, I have a video about how to grow thick skin if you want to watch that, just basically a video about mental toughness. But anyways, David Goggins, man, like, and, and on top of that, he had to go through more. You know, he, he gained all this weight. He lost all this weight just to become a Navy SEAL. And <clears throat> he didn't make it the first time or the second time. And it's like he had to do so much just to get to where he wanted to be. And he stopped at nothing. And I mean nothing. He did not stop. He just didn't. And that's the type of passion and drive that I respect. And that, you know, I myself just I, I just admire it because it's like, a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people would stop at, oh, well, I, I weigh too much, so I can't do it. And then they just sit down, on the, you know, they, they just wouldn't do anything. And that's it. They would stop at that. David Goggins ran so many miles. He lifted so many weights. He, he dieted so hard just so he could lose all that weight on top of, like, prepping for these races that were hundreds of miles long. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely incredible, like, he was in some races that were over 24 hours long, and he went in one of them without even preparing for it, without even training for it. And it's just crazy, like the stuff that he went through and the stuff that mentally that would have messed most people up, he just took it, he just has these methods that stops anything from taking over his will to succeed. And I'm going to give you a quick takeaway from the book. He has this method called the cookie jar method where he's, he's going through something. It seems painful. It seems impossible. He's like on his on his last legs with it. He reaches into a theoretical cookie jar of memories, basically, of things that he went through when he was younger and uses those as fuel to get a second wind off of. And it is just crazy. And I've actually used that method before, too, and it actually works. It's a great great psychological technique but if you if you're into that type of stuff check out this book because like i'm all about mental toughness and not having excuses so like that book as soon as i found out it was a thing like i click download read you know because that was that's my type of stuff so if you're into that too it's also linked in the description can't hurt me by david goggins all right and this book is called extreme ownership by jocko willink and leif babin and this book is also incredible again navy still guys but uh, it, it's more about leadership and more about just taking ownership and responsibility. And I have a video called Fault Versus Responsibility. This is a great book to address that. It's like when you're a leader, especially when you're in a leadership position or, or if you're in war or if you're in business or whatever the case is, it's not about whose fault. It's about whose responsibility. You know what I mean? It's, it's about taking ownership and what you do, taking true ownership. Like if you're in business, seeing it as your business. You know what I mean? When you're in a, a leader in the military and, and the way that they describe it in the book is they, they saw that those people were their responsibility. If someone gets killed on their watch, that's on them. That's how they look at it in that book. And and just the reason this is better to me than the, than the physical book is because like you can hear the emotion and, and, and all the things in the voice because the, the people who wrote the book are also like narrating the book. So you can hear the, the, the strain in their voices. You can, you can hear the... It's almost like you get this militant 
image in your mind as you're listening to it. And you can pretty much visualize what they're saying because it's so detailed, it's so emotional, it's so like full of action and explosions and stuff. It's just crazy. It really is, it's just, it's crazy. Like the way they describe it is so descriptive. It's like a movie in your head. They don't just talk about war, they talk about how they went to organizations and businesses and, and showed them how leadership should look how it should work, how, you know, you have to have emotional intelligence and how you have to be in there and, and involved with your people and, you know, servant leadership and stuff like that. And as a leader myself, again, I eat that stuff up. So click, download, read, you know what I'm saying? So that was just a fantastic book to me. And, you know, that is also going to be linked in the description, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. And that's the video, guys. I mean, that's my top three self-help audiobooks or my top three self-improvement audiobooks absolutely fantastic books and if if you read these books and get something out of it they can indeed uh bring you more income because when you have these skills that they touch on in these books and this knowledge that they touch on in these books and they actually give you practical ways to get this type of knowledge you actually can take it away and, and apply it to your life and then it becomes a skill and then that becomes profitable and then you become profitable and it's just, it's great. It really does trickle over and uh, just from extreme ownership alone, like it's made me more profitable throughout, you know, just, I, only, I read it like a year ago and I read it more than once. It's already making me more profitable just off of reading it and applying those basic principles to my life. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, hit the subscribe button. I'm Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal growth and personal finance so that you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Click the links down below if you want to read or check out these books for yourself.